Um, Sunday, first of all, congratulations on making the Diamond squad. Um, what does it mean to be to retain your spot in the squad for the Commonwealth Games? Thank you. Um, it means a lot to be able to um, keep that position in the squad. I think it's something that I've always looked forward to and it's something that I want to continue to be able to do. What is it that you think you've, you've, you've brought to your game that has helped you cement that spot in the squad? Um, I think it's probably my footwork within the circle. I think my attacking out of um, defence has definitely improved a lot um, throughout the years. I think it's just I've got that slight different style of um, defence that I think they might be interested in. Your rise has seemed fairly meteoric to those outside of the fever. I, I remember when you were a development player, you played a few games and everyone was very impressed. And now you're like retaining a spot in the Commonwealth Games squad. What's it been like, the journey for you um, over the last few years? You know, the journey's actually been um, very good for me over the last few years. I think they brought me into the FIFA environment, trying to build my skills, trying to build my defence, my attacking, all that stuff to hopefully be able to slot me into the um, team. And I think it's worked well. So, and just finally, obviously having Courtney uh, in, the, in the squad as well, what does that give you in terms of confidence, someone to lean on and a familiar face, especially if you end up on the court with her? Yeah, it's great having Courtney in the um, squad. I think we've got that connection um, in the defensive end, but also um, we can also build connections with others around us. I think um, Courtney is definitely that like role model for me. I think she's someone that I can go to regularly if I need anything. So yeah, it's great to have her here with me. Oh, I might just sneak one more in and obviously get to link up with Stacey again. Uh, are you looking forward to that? And, and what does that mean for you as a player who played so much time under her at Fever? Yeah, looking forward to um, joining Stacey again. I think um, she was there when I first started my journey with Fever and she's definitely helped me grow a lot within my netball. So, yeah, it's great to um, get back under her and get started. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. I can see you've got your hand up there, mate. Would you like to go next? Sure, thanks. Congratulations, Sunday. Um, it's been a bit of a different start for yourself. Um, your form was a bit shaky early, but you've really come through in the last couple of games, especially at the weekend. Um, how has the start of the season been for you, given that the the new defensive end look and the the way that the teams have been rotate? Ah, oh, sorry, the players have been rotated through. Uh, thanks, Mitch. Um, I think, yeah, the start of my season was a little bit shaky. I think I was a bit harsh on myself at the um, start of that. And I think I kind of started to overthink it a little bit, but um, definitely think that this position um, in the Diamond squad has definitely given me a different look on it. I think um, the selectors obviously saw something within me that they were happy with. But um, yeah, I think the it's been very different this season within the SSN and a lot of the teams have changed and have had different um, starting sevens and stuff. But I think uh, with our reviews and previews and stuff, it's definitely helped us be able to get on top of that. You said um, you were overthinking it a little bit. Were you thinking about com game selection and keeping minutes up on court or was that sort of what was going through your mind or what was on your thoughts? I uh, know I wasn't thinking about com games or minutes or anything like that. I was just not happy with my performance at that time. And that's just all I was thinking about, just how I can improve and hopefully come back the next game and do better. How important is it, the pressure up the court for yourself and Courtney? At the weekend, it was really high against the Swifts and you were able to take advantage with a number of intercepts and gains. Is that really important for you two to be able to play your natural way? Yeah, it's definitely important for us to um, keep playing the way that we do play. I think we don't need to put too much pressure on ourselves. I think we just need to go out there and just play the style that we're used to. Just um, follow the game plan and we should be fine. And what's how is the feeling like amongst the family? You know, you've, you're going to the di um, to Diamonds camp again. You know, your sister's a training partner and then also playing for WA. Is, must be pretty exciting amongst the family at the moment. Yeah, the family is super excited. I think they're just happy to see um, how far I've come in my netball and then also happy to see my younger sister following my footsteps as well. Not long before you hopefully play together on for Fever on the court? Yeah, definitely looking forward for that time. Awesome. Thanks, Sunday. No worries. Thank you.
Junie, I can see you've got your hand raised there. Would you like to go next? Thanks, Dave. Sunday, Jenny Sinclair here. Congratulations on your diamond selection, but also a uh, form of fever at the moment. Giants are known for their long-range shooting. Just talk to me about how you and um, the rest of the defensive end might look at counteracting that. Thanks, Jenny. Um, so for the defensive end, we've had a look at their shooting circle. We've done a very good um, preview on how we can um, come against it. I think we've had a great training week uh, We've had a great training week, which I think will have us prepared and ready for when we come come across them. And Sunday, we've seen you make a lot of gains in your strength in the last year or so. Can you just uh, talk to me about your off-season work that you've done in the gym? Oh, so my off-season work in the gym, I think um, our strength and conditioning coach um, has pretty much a program for us all to do. I think a lot of the um, program that we do is a lot with power and strength I guess that helps with you know that footwork in a circle and then also that change of that direction or that change of pace to be able to go for those intercepts or try to get those tips. And Sunday just on a sadder note it was really um, tough to see Ruth go down a couple of days ago. How is she? Yeah um, she's doing well I think we're just trying to stay positive for her at the moment the best that we can. I think she's got great support around her and yeah hopefully it comes out all good. Okay, thanks, and best of luck with the game this weekend. Thank you. Uh, Dan, I'll hand over to you. Thanks, Steve, and congratulations, Sunday, um, on the diamond selection. You've played a bit more wing defence this year with Rudy coming into the side. What's the transition been like for you um, mentally switching from a goal defence role to outside the circle? Thanks, Dan. Um, I think it's definitely a big change going from goal defence to wing defence. I guess wing defence, you're on a lot more like quicker, speedier, shorter attackers, which is definitely different to in the circle. I think with um, wing defence, you just have to have that footwork to be able to just stop them from hitting the circle, um, circle edge. But it's definitely been a big change, but I'm enjoying it. And has Stacey been um, a part of helping you develop in that position, given her experience playing both roles? Yeah, Stacey's definitely been a big help. She's definitely um, given me advice in that wing defence position. She's been a great support when I'm on. And, you know, she just always gives me tips and stuff just to be able to combat that wing attack. And last year you played uh, three classics against the Giants and they didn't quite all go your way. What's the mood like in the group about, um, you know, coming back up against the team that really does play you very closely and they tend to be quite close matches? Um, I think the mood in the team is good. I think we've had um, a great start to our week with our training, our preview and all that stuff. I think we're definitely mentally prepared for it and physically ready to come across them. I think now it's just us being able to go out there and play our style of netball and be able to follow the game plan. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Sunday. Thank you. Thanks, uh, Madeline, would you like to go next? Uh, yeah, uh, sorry, Sunday, I just popped in late and I just wanted to ask if it hasn't been mentioned already. Um, obviously, Courtney Bruce and Select given the side, does that give you a lot of confidence playing alongside her in the national setup as well as the West Coast side? Yeah, it does give um, a lot of confidence. Um, we are quite used to playing with each other. We've got that connection with the, between the two of us, but then also um, being able to build connections within the defensive circle in the diamond squad as well.